Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Huo Siying. 5G, the latest wireless network, is making a lot of promises. Improving healthcare is one of them. I'm right now at the Guangzhou Provincial People's Hospital. It is one of the largest general hospitals in South China. Doctors from the Department of Cardiac Surgery Department today are performing a special surgery. The patient is not in this room, but in a rural hospital that is almost 300 miles away, thanks to the help of 5G technology. Joining us today is the counsel, Dr. Xie Bing. He is a famous expert on the minimally invasive surgery, and he will walk us through what's happening here. So, Dr. Xie, Hi. thank you for joining us today. Hi. Good morning, Sarah. Yeah, I'm, I'm Dr. Xie. Mm -hmm. So uh, today, so we are performing uh, AI and 5G remote minimally invasive uh, surgery. Mm -hmm. So and. Um, it's a really a new tech and high tech uh, uh, right now in China, uh, also in the world. Okay. So first of all, I think, I think this is the first case for the uh, cardiac surgery mm -hmm. uh, in China. So no doubt uh, the 5G so, uh, and also in the first time mm -hmm. uh, in China and in the world to, to perform a, a remote uh, minimal image case. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we know that the 5G changed the people's life mm -hmm. and not not even their, their uh, educations and, and medical uh, treatment mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. So, and we see uh, how amazing about this, this 5G technique today. So, um, right now we, uh, uh, we see the, this background, is, uh, and the, this case is uh, a minimal invasive uh, surgery for the uh, septal defect repair. Uh, this performed in Gaozhou Hospital, it's 500, almost, uh, almost 500 kilometers away from Guangzhou. And uh, since we have a lot of experience of performing this uh, uh, surgery, we have done this uh, for almost 10 years. And uh, since 2018, and the numbers for mineral image source copy uh, heart surgery, so uh, we are the, we are the uh, number one in the world. Okay, and then. Uh, we can see um, like four screens on, on the background, right? Yeah. So actually, the, uh, we can have, uh, uh, you know, the by direction and s seven screen totally wow. at the same time. So means uh, um, the people who are doing the surgery and what he's doing, we can all actually know what he's doing. And, and we also can give a, a supervisor and tell him how to do at the real time, mm -hmm. at the real time. This is, uh, that means you don't need to uh, stay, stand by beside him. You can uh, be a director. You can be a director. Uh, you can be a director to uh, teach them how to, to, how to do it mm -hmm. five mi 500 miles away here yeah. from, from a uh, long distance. So, uh, it must be have a, like a high standard for the network's bandwidth because it's, it's yeah. the real time like video or image yeah. transform from the uh, hospital in Gaozhou to yeah, because, here, right? Yeah, because you, you, if you want to uh, transfer the imaging and the radio, you should have a very stable and fast speed. And otherwise, if you lost the uh, data. So 5G is actually match. So uh, that means we can make it become uh, real time. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and as you mentioned before, and this is we have uh, you see the the right side, and we have uh, also a very high tech. It's about that uh, uh, AI. It's uh, about that uh, what technique? 3D printer. And uh, Hololens, 
and we will uh, make a, a CT scan, MR scan before we do the operations, and we uh, make this a hollow lens. Okay, and we will do what exact, exactly this is a disease looks like. We make a make a plan before where the hole is, and what's what's the uh, uh, the working port to to do the operation. Mm -hmm. We know everything. We make a plan before the surgery. So, so you are talking about the video, like yeah, on the, the right, uh, right, right, uh, right, side. right side. Okay, okay. This is the new technique to uh, make the plan actually, mm -hmm. and also during the operation, you can also can uh, see this uh, hollow lens mm -hmm. and see what the radio see, and and you can compare it. So you you know where exactly. Uh, exactly the defect is, mm -hmm. uh, especially for that uh, if a very complex uh, congenital heart disease um, that uh, you can find a, a very deep, very deep uh, abnormal uh, vessel if you use the uh, hollow lens uh, uh, technique. Okay, so uh, you can see uh, here they're doing the femoral arteries cannula on the up up left left side up. left side okay mm -hmm. so this is a procedure to s set up the bypass mm -hmm. and we will cool down the patient to almost uh, 30 degree and then uh, clamp the aorta and stop the heart and open the right atrium and do the operation and find the hole actually the hole is a septal defect mm -hmm. it's uh, almost uh, about a uh, 3.5 centimeter it's a uh, huge and the patient also has a, a very serious uh, pulmonary hypertension. So this is uh, is a suffer long. If you if you uh, don't, she doesn't do this operation this time. Maybe after ten years, she lost a chance. And right now we we do this operation. We have a very small uh, incision on the right chest. Okay. You are talking about some new technologies that we can use to, uh, in the surgery. So I noticed there is a 3D print m model here. So could you explain to us what it is? Okay, so this is uh, uh, just now I, I talk about, I mentioned is uh, that the 3D print uh, f before the operation. So we actually, this is a one-to-one -one, uh, size model. And before the operation, we do the CDMR scan and get the whole data and they make a 3D print. So, and then we find actually what is the defect. We can get a closer look yeah, at this one. We can get closer here. And this is right atrium, this is left atrium. This, is, this hole, you can see this hole on my finger, see inside. It's a, a septal defect, and it's a heart disease. So, and, and this side we will open the right atrium this time and uh, use a pericardial patch to close this pad, uh, this hole, this separate thing. And then we will, uh, f and then we finish this uh, procedure. So before this, this uh, maybe 10 years ago, so to close this septal defect, we have to open the whole chest sternoectomy, a big incision, more than 20 centimeter, maybe 30. So it's a big scar that it's. And then it's more quite big damage. Uh, so uh, trousers, okay, then it take a long time for patient to recover and discharge. So if we do it with minimal invasive, a small, small holes on the chest, sometimes the patient can be discharged after two days. Only two days. Only two days. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, very good uh, for the patient, for the healthy, and, and very uh, less trauma and faster recovery, a more or less uh, payment cost. Doctors can easily like uh, to uh, to notice. Perform this? Yeah. Okay. To notice uh, what's the patient's condition about have, when they have this kind of... Yeah, this is one of this, one of this model. Mm -hmm. He know that uh, and make the plan. Mm -hmm. 
okay, uh, especially for the uh, another complex case. So this is very useful for the patient to know where exactly the abnormal vessel, where is it. Otherwise, when you open the heart and, and searching, maybe you waste a lot of time. So if you have this model, we we'll make it before, and we actually know where it is. When open the heart, it just goes to find it in very short time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the surgery is still um, going on. So, uh, Dr. Xi, I know like you have a lot of experience. You have been doing this for like 20 years or more, almost 30 years, right? So, yeah. how do you see the uh, changes? Like the how technology change your life? Uh, technology change life. Of mm -hmm. of course, also. Uh, technology changed the way to perform mm -hmm. the surgery, okay? And before, you know, I, I, I mentioned uh, just now, it's, it's uh, open chairs, big insertion. And now we can perform almost all kinds, all kinds of cardiac surgery uh, by minimal invasive surgery, Not, uh, include uh, uh, coronary bypass surgery, uh, congenital heart disease, valve disease, and almost, almost 90 percent of the uh, uh, heart heart disease can perform by minimal invasive. So it's a, a very good, you know, very good news. And also, uh, based on this 5G remote, uh, and the patients uh, very far away can also get the benefits. Yeah, yeah because uh, before we would go go there. To or do the go uh, go, uh, or did they go here and do the surgery? So this is waste a lot of time on on you know on the traveling. So right now we can we can be a supervisor, can direct to teach them far away in the in the same time. So it means you can imagine. So one day, uh, a consultant can uh, supervisor can uh, teach ten case. Ten scream in front of him, and all those if five G connect and five ten hospital, uh, is a uh, around China. So, and then they teach them one by one. Mm -hmm. So this is five G make it possible, mm -hmm. make it easier. Yeah, this this five G is this function. Yeah. yeah. And today we see uh, this kind of like surgery uh, in your like uh, language you call that telemedicine, like tele remote um, yeah. surgery. Yeah. Uh, how many have you doing this uh, before? Ah, uh, not yet. We heard about it. You know that uh, you must heard about it, the Da Vinci mm -hmm. system. So, so it's invent for this a remote, uh, remote uh, tele uh, surgery. Mm -hmm. So, um, but. If you want to do the Da Vinci, so you need that uh, at least two, machines. two machine, one here, one another place. Da Vinci is very expensive, and and you need a very stable signal. Yeah. Uh, you have to set up a a, a, fi a optical fibers, so there's a very it costs a lot. Of, and if the the patient mm -hmm. is in very underdeveloped area. Mm -hmm. Is how can you set up a uh, optical fibers? Okay, get a stable. If you have five G, just make it possible. Mm -hmm. So you can you can perform uh, surgery uh, hundred miles away yeah, with the five G real time, anything. So uh, right now it's not a uh, uh, very uh, high level. It's just a begin. So at the future. So if we can connect to a, a 8K, not 4K, mm -hmm. it's a real, uh, f real uh, 3D, mm -hmm. and the 8K telescope, and even you use a, a, a remote, remote hand, it's simple. So we can just do a surgery in the same time. No need to buy a very expensive Da Vinci system. Use the 5G system. That's the that's the future. So that's in a very uh, primary 
in the primary hospital if you use five G and use the, the high technique and even a, a not so expensive the remote head, remote remote head, one or two, maybe that's a one tenth cause of the Da Vinci system. Then you can perform a very good surgery, a long very far away. So there's a lot of patient can get a benefit. Yeah. And the 5G is really transforming the whole healthcare system. Um, so the surgery is still going on, but we have to wrap up our uh, life he from here. If, if you like us, please um, share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. And please uh, keep following Xinhua for more news and updates. And thank you for joining us today. So yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.